uh, so the week of December 15th, um, it started shipping and it will continue shipping uh, from this day forth. Um, it is intended for developers. Right. So it's, a, it's the final hardware version of the NIMI band uh, with obviously the software itself not being final. When I say software, I'm talking about all of the, di the different applications that are out there for the NIMI band, um, as well as the software that's running on the actual device itself and the firmware. Those things are all still work in progress. So the box itself contains um, your NIMI band, as you can see here, um, your quick start guide, which is right here. Right. So this shows you sort of everything you need to know to get started. Um, the NIMI band is actually underneath here, and so you can pull up on here and pull the actual hardware out. Um, the safety sticker comes off as such. And then you've got your NIMI band here. We'll come back to that. Um, in the top of the box here, there's actually a drawer. So you can see that that drawer actually comes out. And inside that drawer, uh, you've got three things. So you've got your instruction sheet right here. So the instruction manual can come out and has all your how to get started, troubleshooting, all that kind of stuff. Um, you've got your proprietary USB charge cable right here. And then you've got uh, your USB module here, your Bluetooth uh, low energy module. So you can see, so the way that the connection works, um, so clearly the USB connector goes into your computer, and then the actual charging end of it actually just goes on there and the magnet actually holds it down. So that's how it charges. Okay. And when it's charging, so I'll give you a quick overview of the hardware itself, right? So this is the NIMI band itself. Right, so th really there's two parts of the NIMI band. There's the actual band itself, and then there's the part that we call the core. Mm -hmm. So the core has a couple of distinct features. Um, one of the features is the lights that are on it. So once you clasp the NIMI band as such, you'll see that there's actually five LEDs there. And so those five LEDs um, serve as communication. So the NIMI band will tell you what it's doing. So it could be looking to pair with a device. Um, it could tell you its battery life. You know, basically give you all of its status indications using those five lights. And you'll see that when you unclasp it, um, the NIMI band deactivates. So it's basically like an on-off switch. When it's clasped, um, it's on and ready to be authenticated. When it's unclasped, it's off. Um, other features about it, so it is, it is actually adjustable. So you can actually slide this back and forth to get some adjustability. Mm -hmm. um, the NIMI band discovery kits comes in one size. So the band itself is a large size band. Uh, when we ship the actual um, product to customers, there'll be two sizes. Um, outside of that, what looks like the, the holster for it is actually an electrode. So it's one of two electrodes. So that's your bottom electrode. And then the top electrode is actually the one that uh, you see here. So it actually just looks, looks like a design detail. But that's actually the second dry electrode. And that's what allows the NIMI band to complete a circuit through your body and through your heart in order for you to be able to read um, your ECG. That's right, so carbon is the only color that we're shipping the NIMI band discovery kits in. Um, the product itself, when it ships to uh, the customer, will actually have three different colors. So carbon is one, lava, which is like an orangey red, and then frost, which is a uh, matte white. And all the finishes are matte. And if the band is too big on your wrist, are you able to cut it? That's a really good question. And so the other features of the hardware, so the, the band actually has a continuity circuit that runs through it. So you can't actually see it, but there's actually an electrical circuit that goes through the band itself. Um, and that's how we detect continuity which is really important for, um, as you're gonna see with our demonstration. So once the band itself is actually clasped um, and you then authenticate to the band, if you were to cut it or unclasp it, it would actually deactivate the band. Cutting it would obviously deactivate it permanently because you're cutting the circuit that actually goes through it. Um, so just going back to the core. So the core obviously has our lights. Um, it has the sensor here at the bottom. And then inside here um, is our cryptographic hardware, which is a very, very important part of the NIMI band. That's how we keep all of the information that we store in here safe um, and how we make sure the communication um, is actually safe. So it uses Bluetooth 4.0 to communicate. Um, it also has an accelerometer and a gyro, as well as a haptic feedback motor. So the idea of the haptic feedback being like, once you actually authenticate, it'll, be, or it'll buzz really quickly to let you know, yes, I've authenticated, you're good to go for the day. The, because there, we've got the accelerometer and the gyro in here, when you tap the NIMI band, you can get something like the battery life out of it. So the lights will then be representative of, you know, say 20, 40, 60, 80, 100% uh, approximately of battery life. So that'll help you know when you need to charge. You get about five days of wear out of it is what we've seen. Um, so yeah, and then the, we also use the lights you'll see during the setup process to make sure that you're pairing with the correct NIMI band. So if a bunch of people were trying to pair with NIMI bands at the same time, you'll see there's actually a light pattern that you're gonna look to confirm on the screen to make sure that you're not you know, pairing with somebody else's. Um, and there's two different applications we're gonna talk about today. Um, so the first one is one called the NIMI Companion application. So I'm gonna fire that up. So the NIMI Companion, think of it as it's the screen for your NIMI band. So it's, it's the application that's gonna allow you to interface 
uh, with the NIMI band itself. And you'll be able to control parameters um, such as your daily authentication. So this is what I like to call the, you know, you wake up in the morning, confirm to the NIMI band that you are you, and then you go on about your day. So you would use this application for that. Um, you know, for the setup process, creating your profile, that would all be handled through here. Um, and the purpose of this, the setup process is really to bind the NIMI band to me so that it can be used, be used by me and me alone. All right, so I'm Sean and I'm gonna hit begin setup. Okay, so the first thing that it wants to do um, is it's, it's asking to connect to the, to the NIMI band. So I'm gonna put it on. And so when you put the NIMI band on, you always want it with the lights facing you. I mean, it'll work either way, but it's a lot better if the lights are facing you, that way you can see the status. So the way that I like to do it is just hold it against my body like such, and then just clasp the NIMI band like that. And then you know that it's clasped because you'll see the lights actually turn on. So to do that, I'm gonna put a finger on the top sensor of the NIMI band. It's going to take about um, it's going to take a couple uh, minutes for me to actually do this. So it's about um, two minutes for the actual process. So you can see here that it has begun um, recording my ECG. Um, so now I'm done with the uh, NIMI unlock app. And so now what I've done is I basically said I authorize my NIMI band to unlock this computer when it's in a locked state. So to show you how that works, I'll actually lock my computer. So the computer is now locked, and I'm going to hit Escape. And you can see I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use the NIMI profile to log in. So I'm just going to click on that. And now what the computer is doing is it's looking for my NIMI band. And there you go. It found my NIMI band. And it's automatically let me back into my computer. So to show you that that's not just like a clever workaround, I'll actually take the NIMI band off. So now I will go back and try to click on my NIMI icon here. So now as I click on it, it's looking for a NIMI band to let me in. But it's not seeing an authorized NIMI band. And so it'll take a few seconds and then it'll time out and say, we can't find an authorized NIMI band. Try again, right? So it says, NIMI not protected, please try again. Okay. So basically now no one can get into my computer using that. And so to get back into my computer, I would have to log back in the old fashioned way using my previous profile. 